Hello, in the previous demos we saw how we could connect uh, and mix the feeds. Now we're going to see how we can add some business logic to make some keyword search on the feeds data. Uh, I will create a sequence that will just display the news that contain a certain keyword. Uh, to do this I'm going to create a new sequence and this is a generic sequence. I'll call it uh, select news by keyword. I'll select my news by keyword fish. This is my new sequence here. To do this, I will first have to add a variable to my uh, uh, sequence. A variable is a new converting object representing some data that can be passed as a variable data to the, the sequence. We support multi-valued and single valued. As I have only one keyword, it will be the single valued one. Next, and I will pass a keyword. Now I have my keyword. What should my sequence do? Well, the first thing I have to do is to call my mix and filter feeds. Again, to do this, I will just drag and drop my mix and filter feeds into my sequence. To doing this, will automatically generate a new step called call read feeds demo. And if you see the properties, I see that I've called a sequence, and this is the sequence that is called mix and filter feeds, exactly like what I wanted. Now, for each of these feeds, I have to iterate through all the items and select only the items where I have the description containing a certain keyword. So, I will need an iterator to do this. New iterator. Here's my iterator. Uh, this iterator will make some work. So, on what should I iterate? Like the other time, I will show and picker my source and I have some information. In my demo, this is automatically populated by the structure of the uh, mix and filter feeds. Okay, this is because I did it before. Now, to be sure that I have always the correct data here, it is very important that you use the update web service command here that will scan your project and update all the web service and all the data scheme to be sure that it can be displayed correctly in the picker. So that's what I'm doing here. Well, show in picker. Nothing changed because I had exactly the same thing. So I have to iterate on the news of my uh, connectors. If I drag and drop the item here to my iterator, the wizard will automatically create from you a, a document news and he selected use of one. Why? Because I had two news entries so he selected for me one. Well this is not what I want. I want all the news so I can edit the source and I can change manually this information to be all the news. Here it is. For each news I will have to copy the information of the news to the output. I will do for this a new step. This is the step copy. And what should I copy? I should copy the result of the iterator. So I show in picker my iterator and I will copy the item I'm iterating it. Uh, I'm iterating on. Copy. Perfect. Well, first of all, we can try this sequence already this way to see if, if everything is okay. Execute. So, I should exactly have the same result as previously, as we just copied with no selection. And everybody is happy exactly what I have. Now we need to add some business logic. I just don't want to copy. I want to copy only if I have some certain keyword in the description. So to do this, I have to make a test. I'm going to use the JF uh, step to do this. I'm going to push this in front. And if this test is successful, I just want to do the copy. So copy should be beneath the if. What should I write here? I should write a JavaScript condition. Why is it a JavaScript condition? Because if I click here, I see that this field is blue. 
every rule tree in Convertigo is supposed to be a JavaScript expression. So I have to test that the description contains the keyword. But the problem I have is the description is XML data from the, the web service or the connector, and it's not a JavaScript variable. This is why I'm going to use another step here, and this step is called J simple source. I'm putting this variable in front, and I will name my variable here as the name of the JavaScript variable. By convention, we say that all JavaScript variables should be starting by J. So this is J description. Good. Now I can write my condition here, and I say J description. description dot index of this is a JavaScript search uh, function very well known we're looking for keyword and if the keyword is found I will not have minus one so if it's diff different from minus one this means the condition is okay so this means if I have keyword contained in description then I will do the copy now let's test this thing. To test it, I have to test it with different keywords. This is why in Convertigo we have what we call test cases. So to doing test case, I'm going to use here a new test case, and I will create a test case called a test with Facebook, for example. And if I do this, I will have now variables, and in my variables, I will have to default value null. I want to just put Facebook inside. This means then when I will execute the test case, like run here, we're going to execute the select news by keyword sequence using keywords populated with um, Facebook. And that's what we're going to do now. Oh, I just forgot to uh, push my description to some data. So again, I should have to populate my description with some items here. So I have to show in picker my uh, data, and I will drag description in my description. Yeah, this was to be done before. Okay, let's test with Facebook now. Run. And I have now only the items that has Facebook in the description. Uh, so I have Facebook users, uh, Facebook has so many users, and Facebook here. So this is the proof that Convergo did filter and added some business logic to filter out and to search for in this feed the, the, the data. Again, this work is done on the server side. So uh, the data is already uh, processed on the server side, not to be uh, processed on the client side in the mobile application. And this makes a lot of difference in performance, as you can imagine. Thank you for uh, attending.